Hi everyone, I pray you are all keeping safe under God's uh, fortress and protection. Welcome to our next episode of Mentorship Monday. And today we'll be looking at money matters. My name is Priscilla Moredi and I'll brush through some 10 golden rules about money. Money is a very great force in society and just like any other force, it follows certain laws and rules. It is governed by principles that make it worthwhile and available, all exclusively elusive. In most of the cases, we all find ourselves at the road called the money is elusive avenue. And automatically, when we find ourselves here in this uh, money elusive avenue, we get into a formula of trying to chase money. And this is a great mistake because the more we chase the money, the more it runs away from us. So it becomes like a rat race. We chase after it, but we never catch up with it. And this takes us to rule number one about money. <clears throat> the first golden rule about money says, do not chase money, instead be a money magnet. You ask yourself how? Become valuable, invest in valuable attributes and skills, be a solution finder. What problems? In society need to be resolved. Take time, identify these problems and possible solutions for them. People are so very willing to pay you any amount of money if you can be able to solve their problems. The more problems you're able to solve, the more valuable you become and the more money you actually receive. Second golden rule about money Invest in time before you invest in money. We all have assumptions that you need money, you need capital to invest. This is so wrong. You actually require time more than money. Time is actually more valuable than money. So find time and learn new skills. Find time and work on side projects, especially if you're employed. Engage in research and study the paths that billionaires have taken to get to the point where they are. By the way, studies actually show that approximately 67.7% of all billionaires in the world are self-made. So you can also make yourself a billionaire. Irrespective of your start line, it takes time to build a valuable business. So the start line sometimes is different. Some of us start higher, others actually start at uh, the bottom but irrespective of the start line you need time to build a valuable business research actually shows that on average it takes about seven to ten years to actually grow any profitable business so the sooner you begin to invest your time then the faster you're going to get to your desired destination so invest time in finding out the same problems we were talking about earlier about uh, becoming a, a solution uh, finder find problems and get solutions for them that are affecting society resolve them and you'll get paid for it do not rush to invest your money in markets you do not understand take time study them understand them invest your time in them in understanding them and then you'll have invested your money wisely the third golden rule about money, the more you learn, the more you actually will earn. Most of us spend time playing games, watching movies, chatting with friends, social media, but have no time to read or listen to harness knowledge on projects or even skills that we can learn and make money. The more knowledge you acquire that can be transformed into value for your life, or for others lives the more valuable you become so focus on building a ladder to climb to success one step at a time learn about how money is created learn also about how money is lost learn everything that there is to learn about investment take time 
learn, build, perfect your art, escape, enjoy, and don't forget to teach others when you get to this last uh, point. Every skill, by the way, in life that is learned always follows this process. So if you need to change your life, <coughs> learn the fundamentals of how and apply them. Uh, in the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 5, the Bible asks us to be wise and that if we lack wisdom, we should ask God and he will give it to us freely. So we need to be wise even as we deal with uh, money matters. Knowledge is power. Acquire it as much as you can. And a good place to start acquiring such knowledge about uh, money matters would be in the following book by the name The Richest Man in Babylon by George Carlson. I'll share a copy of this at the end of the session. Rule number four, you can create a money tree. I know we have all been told money does not grow on trees, but you can grow a money tree. So how do you do it? By planting the right seed. The seeds are ideas for investment and the world is filled of them. With the internet, with Google, they are all at your finger points. You can actually get as many ideas as there are in the universe to make a seed and to invest in. And who is the gardener for these seeds? It is you. You take the seeds, those are the ideas, and you grow them and you make them valuable. Without the gardener, the tree will never grow. A shekel buried in the soil remains a shekel, as in Matthew 25, 14, 30. So do not put your seed on the shelf. Do not just leave it there. Please nurture it, plant it, take care of it. And the faster you do this, the faster you get to a good harvest. Fortunes do not happen overnight and they call for some work. So you need to do some work for you to create a money tree. But it is possible to create a money tree. Rule number five, never spend money before you earn it. Bad debts. Do not borrow money to buy things that you could still survive without. Do not use credit cards without discipline. Do not take advances on your salary. Because once you get stuck in this rat track, you will never be able to break the chain. So you will always be spending on past bargains and the present and the opportunities presented will elude you forever. So do not become a slave to money, be its master. I'm not saying uh, debts are bad, and that's why I said bad debts, because sometimes you need to borrow to uh, bridge uh, to the next level. But make sure that you're good at paying your debts, you keep to the set agreements, and they never, never, never overlearn you. They don't become uh, your master, but you are the master of, uh, of um, all your debts and pay them as accordingly. So never spend money before you earn it. Rule number six is uh, closely linked to rule number five, where you are supposed to spend less than you earn. Most of us keep breaking this rule. We find ourselves spending more than we earn, and this is not how it's supposed to be. Control your urge to spend. Do not allow pride and show off to take charge of you. If you cannot afford it, do not buy it. The time will come when you can be able to purchase whatever it is you want to purchase. You should ask yourself this question. Can you support yourself for six months if your income was cut off today? With COVID-19, I believe we have learned our lesson on this one. So it is important for you to save. In fact, saving should be a big part of your monthly budget. To be able to invest, you have to start by saving. However little it is, don't look down on any amount. If, for example, you save 20 shillings every day, in 100 days you have 2,000 shillings. Never look down upon any amount of money. What you can do with it is great. Some of the greatest billionaires started out with nothing and they have built their fortunes. So invest, save, so that you can be able to invest. Rule number seven. Let money work for you. 
Money is like an army. You send it out every morning to go out and bring back plunder for you. Some of the army men will die, but others will thrive and they'll be worthwhile and they will bring back a lot. So to grow your money, after saving it, you have to invest it and get returns in terms of interest or dividends. Invest your money wisely. Buy shares in public companies. Diversify your investments. This will create for you an, a passive income. This means that even when you are asleep, you'll be earning and this is how money works for you. So this is an important rule because it gives you freedom and it gives you time because you don't have to work all the time. Money can also work for you. Rule number eight. This is a very interesting rule and I'm sure most of us find ourselves at the end of it. You are paid a perceived value of what you give. And this is not about working hard. This is about working smart. The bigger the contribution, the bigger the reward you get. So your rewards in life are always in proportion to your contribution. Let's take for example, if you're serving 10 people and someone else is serving a million people, their returns will definitely be higher than yours. So what can you do to change this? You need to serve more, offer yourself to do extras, improve the service quality of the product that you're selling, find new ways or be more innovative and find ideas that you can add uh, to your contribution and that will also add value to your contribution. The question you should be asking yourself is what are you worth? And if you're willing to do more than you are paid to do, eventually you will be paid to do more than you do. So let us uh, make sure that our the way we are perceived and the value we are given when our perception is uh, given is higher all the time because we are doing extra rule number nine money only solves money problems most people or most of us actually presume that money will sort out all the problems that we have money true is a universal key and it opens a number of doors but it does not open all of them so when you do not have money all you see is money problems and you keep thinking if i have money my problems will go away but in reality there are so many other problems in the universe that cannot be resolved by money do not peg all your problem solution to the illusion of if only i had money no Money will only solve money problems. The solutions to the other problems are elsewhere, not in money. And uh, finally, rule number 10. And this is uh, what we call finesse thinking. There is having money and there is being wealthy. And what does this mean? The question we should ask ourselves is, do we just want to have money or do we want to be wealthy? And I feel that most of us would want to be wealthy. Why? Because wealth is a point where your desires and expectations actually match your reality. And what brings this win-win combination is having all your life pillars right. These are the pillars of emotional, intellectual, physical, spiritual, relationships, and financial. Some people manage to get one, some people get two, three, four, five, and a few have managed to get the six pillars. And this gives life fulfillment. And um, you'll find that there are people with money, but they're not happy, they're not fulfilled, meaning they have not acquired all the six pillars. And so they're not completely uh, fulfilled in, in, in their life as much as they might have money. So in our quest in growing our investment, we should always try to become wealthy, not just have money. So those are the 10 uh, golden rules about money. I hope you have found them helpful and I hope that you're going to be able to apply them if you're not already applying them in your life. Thank you so much for listening and may you have a beautiful time. God bless you.